Here, I have an example to show you. Following those steps, anytime, whenever we have a situation, just sketch it and consider what are the directions of motion later. I am going to have one of my axes along this way, along the acceleration two, along the acceleration one. And again, even though we know these accelerations are the same A1 and A2, to practice, let's go with A1 and A2. If we had numbers for M1 and M2, we can find the unknown A1 and A2 to be the same number, <clears throat> okay? Now, I'm starting labeling these force of gravity acting on the mass M1. There's going to be a normal force by the surface on the mass M1. Tension force is going to pull it forward. Let's assume M2 is bigger enough this whole thing is going to move this way. Tension, the tension force is pulling it forward. Since it is moving forward, there's going to be a backward friction, kinetic friction, kinetic friction. This guy still has hanging mass, mass has the force of gravity. There's going to be a tension force. That's all, this is not leaning to the surface or not touching the surface. And if someone needs, you can start solving the problem by this force diagram, or you could pick all the forces acting on the mass M1, free body diagram, acceleration A1 is matching my direction X I picked. Free body diagram for the mass M2, the hanging mass, direction Y is matching the acceleration A2. If I follow this guy, here we go, we have the free body diagram for the mass M1. Now I am going to apply Newton's second law. If total equals mass times acceleration for the mass one along the X direction. Acceleration is along the X direction. And right here, force of tension is in the positive X direction but kinetic friction is along the negative x direction. That's why we have a negative sign. And when you take the M to the right-hand side, you can find the unknown acceleration. If I know these two numbers and the mass, same way along the y direction, y is positive upward, you will get normal force minus force of gravity since it is downward and acceleration is zero, there's no any acceleration along the y direction, you will get that dynamic equilibrium. The object is in motion, but along the y direction, equilibrium along the y direction. And going forward to mass M2, all we have to consider along the y direction, we know this guy is hanging mass, it's not moving along the x direction, here we go. We apply the F equals MA, we have the acceleration downward and force gravity on mass two is downward, but tension force is upward. That's why this negative sign, there we go. You can find the unknown acceleration. Same as this problem, any scenario you have in hand, if you follow these steps, apply Newton's second law, that's all you have to do in any given problem, okay?